Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to an unboxing for another LEGO Super Mario. Today we're going to look at Peach's Castle, which is the big set for Series 5. Uh, it's so big I can't even get the entire box in my video here. Uh, there's a lot of brand new things to add on to here. Um, oops. Sorry, I'm making a racket and kicking stuff out of my way. Um, yeah, there's some new figures. We got some, uh, a Ludwig, uh, got a new Bowser. Um, definitely fun. Big giant castle, very reminiscent of, um, Mario 64. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hop in and see what is in this set and what it does. So, as you can see, I kind of got it built there. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a big set. It takes up a lot of room. Of course, you can rearrange this front part. Uh, if you want, but we're going to look at this kind of a little bit piece by piece. Um, I think it's the best way to go about this. So, one thing we got is we got a brand new warp pipe with uh, the peak symbol, or her crown on there. So, this works like any other starting um, warp pipe. You put it on, you start it, you get your timer. The difference is you get different music. So, we got peak here. Peak to me. So she gets some more, like, uh, melody music versus the regular Mario theme, which is kind of fun. Um, I'm just going to end this. So this does not come with an end pole. Uh, this is the end pole from the base Mario set. Um, so I still need that one to, to finish that off. Um, but yeah, so you just wanted to do that. Uh, Alright, up next we have Toadette here. We've seen Toadette before in previous stuff. Uh, this little bridge here. She starts up like that, and you have to walk over. Do, 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 do. Kick the bridge down. That way, flat enough that you can, like, get in there and talk to her. Um, otherwise, go that. Oh, 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 I popped her, her, uh, braids off. Um, that's the one thing I don't like about this design, is... Her pigtails do not stay on here very well. Um, I don't generally have too many complaints about um, any of the stuff in this set in the Lego Mario. Just for whatever reason, the way they design this, her pigtails do not stay in there very well. Because if her hat gets pushed back, her like head gets pushed back at all. It pops them off. So this almost has to stay down covering her eyes. Otherwise it bumps into the back and pops the pigtails off. Um, I'm going to stop trying to fiddle with that. So just before I throw this on the floor and lose it. Alright. Then up next we have. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This is Ludwig. So we have another one of the Koopa Kids. Um, <clears throat> we've got. I think this is like the fourth one. I think we got Lemmy, Iggy. And... Who's the other one? Let me, Iggy. I don't remember. There's one more we have. Uh, but yeah, you just knock him over. Five, six, 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 takes him out. Oh, uh, it's actually he's got the extra. I like how they all have their different wands, which kind of represent the thing. He's also got this little neat uh, club platform here. So spin, and then it just pops right out. Uh, so it's not really attached. It's kind of a neat little thing. I haven't seen any other ones like that. There's a blue hole on that side. So you can put it on either side. Um, and some other various sets of hag. Um, them holes as well. well. It's a good new connector they're doing. I'm going to just attach her thing to the top of that tree so I don't lose it. Alright. We're going to slide that off to the side. We're going to take a look at the entrance to the castle. Um, this is definitely fun to build. Uh, what's well, also kind of neat, castle folds out. So you can have it be a big long one, or you can fold the sides in if you want. Um, just kind of however you like to do it. Uh, there's a yeah, nice little windows, plants. It's just a nice aesthetic for the castle. Uh, the doors are both pushing, and you can go in. There's a sun platform. Um, Alright, we spin her around. This is why I don't have the other pieces connected. Just because for the sake of showing it off. 
Um, and that kind of gives you a couple different rooms. So we're going to have uh, the fruit bowl room with the bob -omb. So we'll look at that side first. So we got some fruits. We got a little apple. We got a little banana in a little bowl. Nothing special there. Then we got a new uh, apple here that you can click or sit on. And it gives her a purple apple. Now we've had uh, green, red, and I think a yellow one before um, in the other unboxings. Uh, so this is kind of neat. So if you haven't seen what the new fruit does, it's your first Lego Mario watches. They can go and tip them forward. And they eat it. Um, so that's definitely a fun thing. The other thing you can do with it, at least in this set, is if we go back to having um, our toe here, someone with a little talking icon, you can give it to them. Um, so that works the same thing with any Toadette, any of the Toads, uh, or Yoshi. If there's Yoshi, you can feed it to one of the Yoshis. Um, the other thing it will also do is protect you, kind of like give you extra hit point from death. There are some other uh, sets in here that do other mechanics with them. Uh, you have to watch them to see what those all do. Uh, then we have our bob -omb here. This is kind of a fun thing. We've seen bob -omb before, nothing special. Basically, all I do is jump up, knock him down. Takes one hit, he sets the fuse off. Oh, I got too close and I blew up. Um, and then he dies. Uh, what I really like with the also did with this is they gave these little gears, which you've seen in lots of other sets. But then the gears can kind of sit nice, like, in this little area up there. And it kind of holds him in there, even though he's on a shelf. Um, also fun is we have a bob -omb painting. Um, and this we can pop off. <clears throat> Now, if you're familiar with Mario 64, um, which is kind of where this cat, the big castle first was playable in, they had paintings, which are actually warp worlds. This is like, I believe this might be the first world. Um, I'm not sure if that was the exact painting. We can see a little symbol on there of a painting. So now Peach jumps in there. She's a little warp portal. And she gets points for it. So that is definitely fun. Now, I want to do is grab Mario quick. It's me, Mario. Although he's wearing Luigi's pants. Um, because I swapped him around and I forgot to switch him back. Now, he can jump on the portal as well. And it's the same thing. Um, just to show that there's no difference between which ones. i slide that back in there. I got knocked my bomb bomb down. Alright. Then, if we flip to the other side of the castle, we have two other interesting things. We have this cool clock. Um, it doesn't do anything. It just looks really neat. And we have a time block up there, which won't do me any good. Unless I start my timer. So now I'm at 78 seconds. I can activate that to get an extra 30 seconds. It's bringing up to 100. I think that's the max. And then, of course, she's got her flag, if you haven't seen that before. Um, I had zero coins, because I didn't do anything. Uh, but yeah, the timer block, really nice when you're trying to play, like, a longer stage. Um, I guess. So, then the other thing we have is this cake. Which, it's just a regular cake, right? You know, who, oh, whatever. Nope! And hop on that. The top pops off. What do we got in there? There was a Goomba hiding inside of our cake. Now it's just a regular Goomba. Nothing extra special about him. Yeah, we can do our hop, take him out. Uh, but there is... Um, inside the cake is we have a little treasure piece. She gets a piece of cake. Which she can eat as well. So it's fun. So we have different fruit. And we also have a piece of cake. So I think she can probably give that to... Uh... Yep, she can hand that off to Toadette as well. Um, so I'll have to see how the cake interacts with some of the other stuff. But that is definitely fun. And then the way it's built 
as it slides in there. You can set that back on there and just have it be a regular cake. Or you can hide something inside. And that's the fun thing. It doesn't have to be a Goomba. I could hide... Um, you could hide your other block in here as well. And if you did that... I don't know if it's tall enough, though, to knock that out. That would be the only problem. Um, but you can always hide it in there and be like, Oh, we have to figure out what's in the thingy. Alright, so that is the outside of our castle. Then let's look at the throne room. Uh, one sec. <clears throat> Alright. Here is the throne room. So this is definitely a big cool thing. Um, she got the stained glass window which is really cool. There's a big flag up at the top. Um, the columns are really neat. Really cool pieces. Uh, and then Princess can sit on top of there. Peach is number one. And she says something. And then every character will say something a little bit different. I guess those two said the same thing. Oh, yeah. That's weird. <laughs> All the guys just say it. They're number one. Luigi's just like, oh, yeah. Um, so what's fun about this is what you can do is you can hop on this little brown part here. Let me zoom back down a little bit. It's kind of in the, in the way. So what you do is you pull forward. The castle flips around. And now we get Bowser theme music. Now, it's supposed to turn all the way around. Um, but for whatever reason, the gear that's in there, when I did it, wouldn't line up right. And I couldn't figure I took, I built this. I turned it. Let me turn that music off. Um, I turned it. I still couldn't get it to uh, turn right. I tried it several times. Um, so I'm kind of just stuck with it at this angle. I just, I don't, I think something in mine maybe got lined up wrong or something. But he's supposed to turn all the way around. Uh, so when this is all the way in, the caster should be straight. And then when you flip, you should turn all the way straight back around. Uh, but mine doesn't do that. What's also neat, though, is, well... Oh, my gear pieces here are getting stuck together. Oh, and I knocked Bowser off. So, and this is over here, that little piece is way down in there, and then as you pull it, it gets pushed up to the top, and that's what starts his theme music. Um, <clears throat> oh, let me knock Bowser's back off. Um, there's our Bowser. This is the same Bowser, um, I compared him to the same Bowser that's in Mario's base set. So you're not getting a different version or anything or any upgrades. Uh, but like his arms move, um... It's kind of funny though because he is quite a bit smaller than all of the regular players uh, or heroes. But he sits on here, or he's supposed to at least, sits in the back side of the castle. And they're supposed to be able to push on these black pieces here and knock him off. And then you can do either one. The chain pulls him forward, tips him off, and then we jump on him. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hits and we beat Bowser. And then he goes and plays tennis with us. Um, uh, <laughs> and has cart races. Um, yeah, so that's it. And then if we flip the castle around, um, nothing extra special on the back. Uh, you can have someone kind of sit up on the balcony if they want, though, which is nice. End of the game. We have Mario and Lee. Mario and Princess hanging out in the top of the balcony. Uh, so that's what we have for our Princess Peak Castle. Um, yes, some definitely fun stuff. We get another Bowser in case maybe you didn't pick up the first one for some reason. Um, or now you have two of them, I guess. The throne room, there's a couple of interactive pieces in there with the bridge and that theme music. The castle and its theme music. Um, the cake, the painting. Um, one other thing I do want to show off. So if I start uh, Princess Peach off, she gets a special music. Now if you put her on the throne, Peach 
the music changes a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. And let's just beat Bowser quick. My coins did Bowser give us, because we didn't go a whole lot else. 23, not bad. Uh, if you put one of the other characters, like Luigi, on the start gate, you get the same music. So it's not peak exclusive music, it is for anybody. But yeah, then we also get the extra fruit and stuff, which is definitely neat. Um, adding with all the other sets from Series 5, this is definitely a fun addition. Uh, makes more to purchase Peach. The only thing is now I kind of hope they would make Toad um, a playable character because then you have the main four characters. Um, Alright, that's what we got. See you guys in the next video. Bye!